Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers, adopted and promulgated by the Board of Professional Teachers through Board Resolution No. 435, Series of 1997, pursuant to the provisions of Paragraph E, Article 2 of RA No. 7836, otherwise known as the Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act of 1994. Persons who are accountable for this policy are all teachers teaching in the Philippine schools, both private and the public, at all types and levels, and those with supervisory and administrative tasks related to Philippine education. Examples are principals, school directors, school superintendent, librarian, guidance counselors, teaching staff, and other school officials. Teachers are one of the implementers of policies. They promote morality, rationalism, and patriotism. They encourage Filipino citizens to abide by the law by submitting to the constitution and authorities. Teachers shall live honest lives and render sincere service without ulterior motives. They are also allowed to practice his constitutional rights and academic freedom. is encouraged to have good community relationships to provide a conducive environment for learning. He observes the custom and traditions of the state and inspires society to do the same. Teachers watch over the reputation of the profession by carefully portraying what they ought to be. They as well are devoted learners even while in the practice of their profession. If proven worthy, it is a teacher's privilege to be rewarded or promoted, provided that he meets the requirements of the aimed position, and shall pass on records and files to his successor before leaving the job. Gossiping and confidential information leakage is not allowed as the practice of a teacher. He must maintain good rapport and camaraderie with his associates. The teacher has the role of implementing the school policies and the execution of the school's desired outcomes. He has the right to address injustice as necessary for admonishment and does not participate in illegal transactions. School officials and personnel shall be in a collaborative relationship for the betterment of the school itself. However, no one is authorized to disband a colleague from the service without a valid reason. The teacher is responsible for the welfare of his students in academic terms. He shall keep a record of the performances and learners and reasonably determine their grades. He treats his students equally without biases. The teacher must communicate to the parents the status of the learner for parents' participation in the child's learning. Teachers were known to be the second parent of the learner. They must strive for the well-being of the child. The teacher and the parent collaborate for the child's success and achievement. A teacher's financial status must not be in controversial state. He is responsible for handling his financial affairs. The Magna Carta for the Public School Teachers Section 1 seeks for the elevation of the economic status of the teacher. A teacher shall live a life of integrity, worthy of respect and secure the reputation of the profession. They are viewed as paragons of virtue, benevolence, and determination, knowledgeable in the different aspects of life, able to give reasonable remarks needed by the students and evaluate performances. Article 12. Disciplinary Action Warns that any violation of any provisions of this code shall be sufficient ground for the imposition of disciplinary action. Revocation of certification of registration and license as a professional teacher, suspension from teaching, reprimand, or cancellation of permit. <laughs>